Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you how to organize your things that are visible, things that you have to look at and how to make them beautiful and not overwhelm you. So let's get started. So friends, many of you know that in my home, a lot of times I don't like to see my things. I like to be able to easily get to them, but I don't necessarily want to see them. So that's when bins and baskets come into play or canisters. But there are things in my home that are visible and that can be overwhelming sometimes if they're not organized properly. So a lot of times we have dishes that are not the same color or we have um, things that we have to get to, but they're maybe not the prettiest. So I wanna share with you some tips on how to beautifully organize these types of things. So friends, let's talk about those cabinets. A lot of times we have cabinets and our dishes don't match and I've been there myself so I totally know all about that life and some people like that. They think that it's very eclectic, that's their style and it can be absolutely beautiful. But if you're one that you're frustrated with your cabinet because your dishes or your glasses are all different colors, it can actually still be beautiful. It's all about the arrangement. So what you need to do or what I suggest that you do is create sets from the mixed items. So I have my blue cup here and I have my teal coffee mug here. I'm going to pair them together as if they're a set of their own, like they were purchased together. Because then when I put them in the cabinets and I arrange them in their groups, it really gives a cohesive look and it looks intentional, which then makes it look very organized and beautiful. To add in, these are my mom's little teacups. And so if I add these in to the existing group of the blue cup, the teal cup, and now this um, very vintage teacup, although they're very different and they're mixed up in color, when you put them together, they look like a set. And when I arrange them on my shelf, putting one kind of diagonal from the other, it looks very beautiful and intentional. And it really brings an organized look to the cabinet. So friends, let's talk about pegboards. Being someone that really, you know, I do not like seeing my things, you would think that I am not a fan of pegboard. And I absolutely am a fan of it because I look at it as a blank canvas where I could create a beautiful masterpiece with the things that I need to easily grab. And especially in an office setting, I love using it in my home office and in my business office. So what I love about it is that I have this white canvas and what I can do is strategically place place my things by color along with incorporating things of beauty such as um, inspirational pictures or a clock which also is function but I can take those things that I typically put around my house but still put them on a pegboard with the scissors and the pins and all the things that I need so when you're arranging your pegboard you want to be sure to coordinate all of your decor pieces such as pictures and things like that with your scissors so if you have black scissors up there maybe get a frame that's in a black frame and then it brings everything together so although one is for decor it can really make all of your things that are really functional stand out beautifully so friends create art with your visual organization so if you have those things that you're organizing that you you need to see think of it as a piece of art and how can you make it look absolutely gorgeous for example I needed these wooden spoons which are a great function in the kitchen by my stove I didn't want to go with the typical um, you know white canister to stick them in or anything like that I wanted to create a nice beautiful kind of metal piece of art over there so I knew that by getting this silver piece it would really add to it and make it look like a bouquet of floral spoon florals <laughs> but it was just in in my eye i was thinking about flowers and so when i arrange it it just makes it look beautiful but the function is there so when you're arranging anything just look at it as a piece of artwork and how can you tweak it what can you use that's not you know traditional but it speaks to you that can really showcase uh your things Okay friends, so when we look at open storage, those are those baskets or bins that we have that you actually can see through. So you're like, okay, I want, I don't wanna necessarily see my things, but I love the basket, but it is see-through. So when I put my things in it, it feels like clutter. And sometimes it can, if you have a lot of random products and things like that, you put them in the metal basket, you put them on the shelf, and then you still feel a little bit overwhelmed. But what you can do is when you're arranging things in the basket put the like items towards the front or the items with labels that are very clean looking and then put all of the things that are kind of random and look kind of you know makes the clutter the look of clutter towards the back 
You still have all of your things, but you're strategically arranging the things in the basket so that you have a very streamlined and clean look. So that when it sits on the shelf, it really looks neat and just overall beautiful. The same with these magazines here, you know, they, the magazines are all kinds of magazines, all different colors, but I strategically put the ones that had a white background on the front so that it blended into the wall and made things look very clean and simple. But I still had the function of having all of the magazines that I wanted in this space, in open storage, and easy to get to. So friends, another tip on how to beautifully organize your things that are visual is by thinking about Think as if you work in a high-end retail store and arrange the things in that way because when you open that cabinet, when you open that drawer, it really can make you happy by having your things beautifully displayed. You know, retail stores cater to us. They cater to our eye and what is going to attract us and that's what you want to do in your home. Under my bathroom sink, I shared that video, I think last week or the week before, and I showed you how I used the concept of the, you know, a retail store of just lining the things up. Very simple process, easy to get to the things, but it really just keeps things beautiful when you open the cabinet and all from thinking about working or thinking about like pretending like I am working in a high end retail store. So it's fun to do that too and kind of, you know, make you feel like you're not working or organizing in your home, but you're having fun. So. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed these little tips that I've shared today on how you can make that visual organization work for you. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to answer any questions. I would love to see all your comments, and I hope you all are doing great. I also want to remind you that my book is out for pre-order. I'm so excited. Thank you all for so many of you have ordered. I'll put the link in the description box below. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you as a part of the At Home with Nikki family. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.